Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the first intermediate grade. Our textbook is Super Goal 2 and today we will cover what are you going to wear there reading. This lesson will be presented by me, teacher Mazana Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Salih al -Ujan. So let's begin. Our objectives uh, uh, in today's lesson, we hope that at the end of this lesson you will be able to read the text about uh, waterfall and also answer questions from that text. And before we do this, let's make quick revision on our last lesson. Last lesson we had a conversation between three friends, Brian, Andy and Josh. And we have uh, uh, read this conversation and we have learned uh, about uh, the a new place which is Norway, the place where Andy wants to go and uh, his friends suggested that he should uh, wear uh, uh, a, 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 sp a specific kind of clothing. Like uh, we have uh, here, they told him to wear a uh, warm clothes as he's going to uh, go uh, in the cold, uh, in a cold weather, very warm clothes and heavy coat, a scarf and gloves, and also to wear uh, sunglasses. And it, we said there that wearing uh, sunglasses at that time of the year, this is something possible in Norway as uh, they, uh, they have a snow and uh, maybe that's a little light in there and so they would wear this kind of clothing with these sunglasses. And also in your turn we have suggested uh, that imagine that you have a pin pal and you want this pin pal to uh, or a friend from outside of Riyadh or maybe outside of the kingdom and who wants to visit Riyadh for the first time. So what kind of clothing or what kind of clothes that you would recommend uh, for him to wear and we say that it depends it depends on two questions for example the first one at what uh, at what time of the year that he will visit Riyadh maybe he will visit in the summer then we can recommend that he should wear like clothes uh, clothes or maybe he would uh, uh, visit uh, in uh, the winter and then at this case he should uh, wear warm uh, clothes and also we said that uh, what are your plans what kind of activities that that person who wants to visit Riyadh for the first time what kind of activities that he would like to do would he like to go uh, for example for different uh, ceremonies then he should choose a formal clothes or if he wants to uh, uh, experience hiking or experience uh, uh, playing uh, football or uh, maybe a uh, riding horse then he should uh, wear uh, light clothes. So here we have the two questions that we need to ask that person when he visits Riyadh for the first time. And also we have eight questions that is about you. It just uh, to test your type of clothes. What kind of clothes that you would, you, uh, would you like? Let's uh, make a quick reminder of those uh, questions. The first one it was what kind of clothes that you would like to wear? Is it casual? Uh, like a uh, shirt and shorts or is it a uh, formal like wearing thobe and uh, also what is your favorite color so when you choose your clothes what is your favorite color and uh, do you like uh, shopping for clothes why or why not why do you like it state your reason because you um, you like the experience of buying clothes or you don't like it uh, because you feel it's a burden that you don't like to move from one store to another and also what clothes do you need to buy what kind of clothes that uh, you need to buy and you wish to wear every day and also where do you shop for clothes and we have uh, in the last lesson we have stated examples on whether you like uh, to buy them online or you go to a mall as we have learned in uh, the neighborhood lesson where we have neighbor uh, when we, where we have in our neighborhood mall that has different clothing stores and also, are clothes expensive in your country? And what are you going to wear to school tomorrow? And this is uh, a unified uh, answer. Uh, we either uh, wear here in our country, we either wear a uniform or a thobe. This is as a formal clothes uh, to uh, school. And do you think clothes uh, tells uh, a lot about your personality? And we have also stated an example of this, uh, whether when you see someone wearing a, a specific kind of clothes, that can you tell about that uh, person, whether if he is uh, uh, funny, if he is uh, easygoing, or if he is angry all the time. So does uh, uh, wearing different clothes tells a lot about uh, personality? This is uh, for you to answer. 
So this is basically is all about uh, our last lesson. In our today's lesson, I would like you now to open your books on page 45. I would like you to open your books on page 45. On page 45, you're going to see two pictures. What I would like you to do to have a look at this photo and try to guess and also at the title, the Iguazo Falls. I would like you to predict what is the text uh, or what the text is about. What is it about? What do you think? So here from this picture we can see uh, uh, um, a major waterfall. It's very, very huge. And also here we can see waterfalls and also a lot of trees around this waterfalls. So what do you think? What do you think the text will be about? And to have uh, a further question on this, uh, what would you or uh, what would you wear to visit waterfalls? So if you have a chance or if you already visited uh, waterfalls, what do you think the kind of clothes that's suitable when you go to waterfalls and why? Some of you may say that uh, we should uh, wear light clothes as uh, to uh, walk uh, maybe uh, uh, inside uh, or uh, aside from these uh, waterfalls to enjoy the scenery to enjoying the scenery of course there will be trees and that breeze will help if you are wearing light clothes that will help you or will make you uh, feel uh, uh, fresh and also have you ever been to large waterfalls like this and what was it like what was your experience if you already have uh, been to such uh, large waterfalls what is uh, the experience what was it like do you like it or you don't and also, what is the reading going to say about this? Now, all of these information, we're going to uh, listen to them in details in this uh, reading text. And now, we are going to read uh, this reading text, and as we always do in the reading uh, lessons, we're going to listen to it uh, twice. The first time, we're only going to listen for listening, and uh, you don't uh, have to worry if there is a word that you don't understand. We will understand it uh, later uh, uh, when we repeat or we uh, reread again. And for the second time, I would like you to read with me while you follow. Okay, so now we're going to read the text. So for the first time, you just listen. You don't have uh, to. Uh, uh, you don't have uh, to read with me, and you don't have uh, to worry about uh, understanding the meaning. And for the second time. This time you will try to follow with me and we will explain the meaning as we uh, go on. So now, let's begin uh, reading uh, the text. The Iguazo Falls. The Iguazo Falls are on the border of uh, Brazil and Argentina. They are very beautiful and very famous. The falls are very popular with tourists from all around the world. At some times during the year, you can see as many as 275 separate waterfalls. The waterfalls go a distance of 2,700 meters. You can hear the roaring sound of the water several kilometers away. Visitors wear waterproof jackets or raincoats with hoods to keep their heads dry. They also wear rubber boots or waterproof uh, shoes. Transportation. There are, uh, there are buses to the falls at the Iguazo Park. Towns. The town of uh, Fuz do Iguazo is near the falls. It is a big town and it's very busy with people from many places around the world. Other attractions. Makuku boat uh, ride on the Iguazo River to the falls, very exciting. Helicopter ride over the falls, great fun. Itaipu Dam, the hydroelectric dam. Walk on the Brazilian side for a great uh, view. And now we have read uh, the text uh, for uh, the first time. Now we're going to listen to the text for the second time. And this time I will uh, uh, follow word by word and you try to follow with me. And also uh, have a look or have a closer look on the words uh, as I read along. So let's begin our uh, second uh, reading. 
the Iguazo Falls. The Iguazo Falls are on the border of Brazil and Argentina. They are very beautiful and very famous. The falls are very popular with tourists from all around the world. At some times during the year, you can see as many as 275 separate waterfalls. The waterfalls go a distance of uh, 2,700 meters. You can hear the roaring sound of the water several kilometers uh, away. Visitors uh, wear waterproof jackets or raincoats uh, with hoods to keep their heads uh, dry. They also wear rubber boots or waterproof uh, shoes. Transportation there are buses to the falls at the Iguazo Park. Towns. The town of Foz do Iguazo is near the falls. It is a big town and it's very busy with people from many places around the world. Other attractions. Makuku boat ride on the Iguazo River to the falls. It's very exciting. Helicopter ride over the falls, great fun. Itabu Dam, the hydroelectric dam. Walk on the Brazilian side for a great view. So now we have, uh, re we have uh, read the text of the Iguazo River. In this uh, text, we have uh, identified where uh, does it uh, or uh, where uh, its uh, location, and also we have uh, talked about uh, how long is this uh, uh, waterfall uh, are these waterfalls, and also uh, what should we wear when we go to this waterfall, and also for the second part uh, of this text, we talk about how to get there, how to get to these wa uh, waterfalls, and also what uh, are the cities or towns that is near these uh, waterfalls and also if there is other attractions. If there are things that visitors or tourists uh, who wants to go to these waterfalls uh, can uh, do. So now let's uh, go uh, directly to the after reading questions and here I have five questions for the reading text we have uh, just uh, read. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to read those questions and refer back to the text and look for the answers uh, of uh, each uh, question. So let's read the questions first. Question number one, where are the Iguazo Falls? Number two, what is uh, near the falls? Number three, what attractions uh, do the Iguazo Falls uh, have? And number four, how do the people go to the falls? And number five, what do visitors uh, wear at the falls. So here we have five questions, comprehension questions based on that text. Let's start by answering the first one. The first one here it says, where are the Iguazo Falls? So going back to the text and try to look for this answer. So where are here? We need the place, we need the location. So if we're going uh, back to the text and try from the first uh, line to look for the answer, here we go. Here we can see a place which is on the border of uh, Brazil and Argentina. On the border of Brazil and Argentina. It means it's not uh, in Argentina nor it's uh, on Brazil. It's on the border of both. So we can say that it is available or it is located on the border of these uh, two countries. So we'll go back to the question and we're going to write down the answer as this one. The Iguazo Falls are on the border of uh, Brazil and uh, Argentina. Now, let's try to answer the second question. The, uh, the second question says, what is uh, near the falls? What is uh, near the falls? So, we'll go back to the text and sometimes when we answer, we try to uh, elicit a word or two from that question and use it when we look for an answer, especially when we are looking for an answer in a text. So here in that question it says, what is near the falls? So here, 
we'll go back to the text and we find uh, or we try to find uh, um, uh, the word near in this text. So, for example, in the first one, transportation, there are buses to the falls on the Iguazo Park. No, here I didn't find my, uh, my answer. Let's read the second one. The town of Foz do Iguazo is near uh, the falls. Here you go. Then this is our answer. Here we can say the town of Foz do Iguazo is uh, near the falls. And how can I predict the answer of this question? Is that I can... Uh, I know it from the word uh, near. So you can do uh, uh, the same strategy as well. When you have a comprehension question, you can uh, read the word and use that word when you are looking for the answer. So what is near the falls? The town of Foz do Guaso is near the falls. Now, let's try to answer the third question. The third question says, what attractions do the Iguazo Falls have? What kind of attractions that uh, the Iguazo, uh, the uh, attraction that the Iguazo Falls have? So let's go back to the text and try to look for the answer. So the previous question we stopped at here. Let's continue. It is a big town and it's very busy with people from many places around the world. And here we can see a subtitle called uh, the other attractions. Then the word, here we have the word attractions. And here we have the word attractions. Then we can know that uh, here are, or here is the answer that we are looking for. We have the same uh, terms. So here we have uh, as many as uh, four attractions. The first one, Makuku boat ride on the Iguazo River, and also helicopter ride over the falls, and Itapu dam, the hydroelectric dam, and also walking on the Brazil side uh, for a great or for a better view. So let's go back and write down this answer as it is. The answer is an exciting boat ride on the Iguazo River, a helicopter ride over the falls, this is the second attraction, and also the Itabu Dam, the hydroelectric dam, and number four, a walk with a great view of the falls. So. Here are the, or uh, here is the, the answers of uh, the uh, third question. Now, we still have uh, two questions uh, left. Let's try to read uh, number four. Number four says, how do the people go to the falls? How do the people go to the falls? So here, when we say, how do they go? It means that we're looking for a vehicle. We're looking for a transportation a way that move these people or take these people from one point or one place uh, to another. So let's go back to the text and try to uh, look uh, for uh, the answer. So here we have, here we have talked about the place near the falls and here we have uh, talked about the attractions, the four attractions. So let's uh, read the first one, transportation. Then here we can find our answer. Transportation, what is the method? What is the vehicle that will take us or uh, help us to move from one place uh, to uh, another? So, there are buses uh, to the falls at the Iguazo Park. There are buses to the falls at uh, the Iguazo Park. So here, this is our transportation or this is the way we can move to the, or we can enter the waterfalls. So, we'll go back. We'll go back to this page and we'll uh, write this answer. People go to the falls by bus. People go to the falls by uh, bus. And the last question we have, uh, number five. What do visitors wear at the falls? What do visitors wear at the falls? So as we have uh, said in the beginning, if you experienced or if you already went to a, a water, uh, uh, waterfall, so what kind of clothing that would you recommend for people who would go uh, 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 to it? So here we will say, or he will read, what kind of clothes that visitors or people who went to the Iguazo Park uh, will wear. So we'll go back to the text uh, from the first uh, part or the first uh, paragraph. Let's read it and look uh, for the word uh, wear. This is the key word in that question. What would people wear? wear or uh, clothes. So 
Let's uh, start uh, from here. They are very beautiful and very famous. The falls are very popular with tourists from all around the world. So here it doesn't mention about clothing. So let's continue. At some times during the year, you can see as many as uh, 275 uh, 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 separate waterfalls. The waterfalls go in distance of 2,700 meters. I'm still looking for the answer. And here we can uh, uh, continue. You can hear the roaring sound of the water several uh, kilometers away. And I'm still looking. Visitors uh, where? And here I have found uh, my answer. Visitors uh, where? So the question about what do visitors wear or visitors wear at the falls? So when I go back to the text, I look for the word uh, wear. And here I have found my answers. Visitors wear waterproof jackets or raincoats with hoods to keep uh, their heads uh, dry. And they also wear rubber boots or waterproof uh, shoes. So now we'll go back to the question and write down the answer, uh, which is in this case, visitors wear waterproof jackets or raincoats with hoods and rubber boots uh, or waterproof uh, shoes. So these are, or this is the answer of question number five. But let me ask you this. Did you uh, think or did you thought of this uh, kind of clothes uh, when we ask uh, the question in the beginning of the lesson? What kind of clothes that you would wear when you go to a waterfall? If the answer is yes, it means that you guessed well. If it's not, then try to think of why. Why you haven't uh, uh, think of uh, such clothes that people should wear when they go to uh, waterfalls. And now, we have uh, reached the end of our lesson. Thank you very much uh, for watching, and I'll see you next time.